Got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite what is the crack lads we are back it's been a while sorry about the delay in getting back with season two or should i say phase two of uh, how they're explaining it at the moment but yeah it's been a while lads hope you guys have been keeping well i've been super busy i've had a lot of issues with my pc something went to my pc they had to change the graphics card they had to change the motherboard they had to change pretty much every component of the pc because it was you know, I got it last year for work um, and it was a pretty beefy PC and it just never worked right. So I eventually took the plunge and just had to get it all fixed. But anyway, we are back. Hopefully things are OK. We might have a couple of technical difficulties, but what's been going on, lads? What's the crack? Uh, I haven't played any of Phase 2. I played two matches last Thursday. Uh, I think they were just literally just one-off games just as I was testing. And then I played another two after that and each one uh, quit out or they failed to connect to the to the server. One at half time and one uh, about 80 minutes gone. So I know that they're having issues with the servers. I've been watching all you guys' comments in the, in the replies in the YouTube videos. And I've been looking on Twitter and I've been interacting with a lot of people and... It seems to be a mixed bag, man. I mean, V1.0 was probably one of my favorites, you know, bugs and all. I had a couple of dodgy games on that road to Division 1 in Phase 1, in Season 1. But, um, yeah, I mean, I had I, I had I had a really fun time playing V1.0. Uh, and I'm just hearing a lot of dodgy things about V1.1, that it's very heavy, it's very kind of labored. Um, so we're going to crack on, bring you up to speed with our squad, and this is just kind of a, like a reintroduction to uh, the series, uh, because we will be branching off in a different way. Obviously, they've changed a couple of things since we last saw each other, so uh, we're going to get into all the details of that, all the changes in that. Let's, the levels of the mic and stuff might be a bit too high, so apologies, the music might be a bit too high. Um, and a couple of technical difficulties might happen. So uh, this is just kind of uh, testing everything out as we get back into the swing of things. But yeah, I mean, let's, what do you want to see? I mean, what do you guys want to see? Squad-wise, do you want me to do starter squads? Do you want me to do, um, you know, player reviews? I have two player reviews ready to, ready to release in the next couple of days. I've just been super, super busy. As I said, I haven't played in about a week. Um... So I have all like my login bonuses and all that sort of stuff, the objectives and stuff to clear there, which we'll get into in a minute. But um, yeah, I mean, my idea for this, right, for the Dream Team uh, was to, obviously, this is my current squad at the moment. Um, this is the squad that got me to Division 1. Uh, so obviously, Davies and Goretzka were the two guys that I kind of bought. Obviously, Reese James wasn't there. Uh, that was Van Dyke, as far as I remember. And Maldini was playing right back. Um, so that was kind of the squad that got me up. And obviously, I had Corona instead of Salah here as my main. Where's Corona? Who put him on the reserves, lads? Who put him on the reserves? Corona. I also opened up three of these agents and I got Rudiger, uh, Kovacic and Havertz. Um, but yeah, nothing else really exciting there. But I'll get Corona back there in a second. But um, yeah, obviously, lads, like there's a lot of there's a lot of change in, um, you know, the, the, the stuff that they've added and stuff. Obviously, we have the game plan list now as well that you can have different uh, squads and stuff. Um, and obviously that was kind of what I planned to do was to have the game, the second game plan here, um, that I'd be able to just kind of mix a match with you guys picking everything. So what I mean by that is I have obviously that squad there that I was going to just let, let loose. Um, but say for example, I was just going to, just to, just to make things a little bit more easier. Um, as we do all this, I will like just put all the say like the defaults here basically um so i i would literally be starting from you know goalie to striker we'd pick formation we'd pick manager and we pick a couple of players that you guys would like me to play with um and have a bit of a funny twist on it you know whether we go old as you can see here right so i've got 23 objectives to claim uh let me see i'll go in and do them 23 of them so i've got two of the weekly objectives which are oh yeah the player progression 
uh, receive that. That obviously stacks, so I've done that before. Um, and then obviously we need to play all these matches, the challenge event, events and stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I also have the career objectives to claim as well. So there's a lot here to claim. And again, I like these lads, but they're just a little boring. You know what I mean? They need to spice things up. If you want people to stay playing your game, you need to have a reason to come in and play the game every day, not just to log in. Because you don't even need to play the games a lot of the time uh, for these objectives, you know, whereas I thought we'd get dynamic ones. Now, I will say as well, lads, that I do have a ton of trainers, I have a ton of GP, and I have a ton of my club coins. So, coming up soon, we should have a nice giveaway. I will explain more um, in, in at a future date, but as you can see there, we've got a lot of coins, and we've also got a lot of GP when we go in here, um, as I claim the rest of my rewards. So, yeah, we will have a giveaway coming up quite soon, which I'm very excited about that we'll, we'll get into um, in a bit. But as you can see here, we've also got that. So we've got well over 1.1 million GP. So we've actually got 1,153,000 GP. Now, to be honest with you, lads, right? I My idea of this, like where I am at the moment in Dream Team, I obviously finished in season one. Uh, I finished in division one. So if you guys have not watched division one, of our exploits through that there's 20 episodes uh, of the dream team chronicle season one uh, already up on the youtube so make sure and check that out there's some very big highs very big lows um, and a lot of a lot of drama and a lot of frustration but a lot of fun as well I, as i said i mean i really enjoyed 1.0 um but as you can see there we are starting in division three because we did finish in division one in phase uh, one and then everyone, basically, you just go back two or three divisions ba based on how many games you played and what your final position was. So we haven't played any matches yet at the moment. We've 10 games to get 14 points to remain in Division 3. So, I, you know what I mean? I was kind of thinking, do you guys want me to play with this actual squad? Um, like, do you want me to play like with my, with my default uh, kind of like, you know, main squad, so to speak? Um, or do you want me to make a specific season two squad? So I'm going to leave that guys up to you. I need a bit of feedback on that. I don't want starting the series proper. I mean, if you want me to do like, say, I don't know, like a past and present Arsenal, so I could center it around Vieira. I could buy a couple of current Arsenal players. I have Odegaard there on the bench. I could buy, um, you know, Aubameyang up front. Um, we can try to get a couple of different players. Would you like me to do a Barcelona past and present? We have a million GP to be able to, to line up, you know, Pedri, Ronaldinho. I mean, what do you guys want to see? Because, uh, like, if, if you guys want me... Oh, it's lashing rain outside, man. Jesus, I hope you can't hear that rain, lads. It frightened me there. Um, thought it was Vecna outside. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys want me to, you know, play with this like exact squad um, and just literally try hard mode again, uh, I mean, it's up to you. But if you want me to have a bit of fun and have a bit of randomness and a bit of different stuff where like I genuinely want you guys to steer it, like you tell me what you want. Um, and if there's an overwhelming kind of like majority of people saying like, yeah, start with a past and a present squad, um, you know, or else play with this squad. So for now, right, I think I'll either do, I'll leave it up to you guys where I will either do a past and present club team. So either past and present Arsenal, past and present Madrid, past and present Barca, um, or else I will do just continue with this and, you know, maybe just try hard mode because I do have a good lot of players. We might be able to buy a couple of other players as well. But you guys let me know. For today, I'm just going to test out the gameplay, um, have a chat about eFootball and some of my concerns about it, some of my feedback that I've put back uh, to them um, and some of the criticisms that I've I, I've put at, put at it as well um, because I do think that the potential he is here for the game. But yeah, I mean, as I said, lads, I can go in and I can play these divisions. We are going to do the events today to get all that GP and uh, mess it around and stuff. Um, but as I said, I don't want to start the divisions and then people be saying, you know, when I'm two or three episodes in, oh, I wish you'd done this or I wish you'd done that because the first season, the first division that we started... I went try hard mode. You know, I wanted to really set down and try and get to Division 1. That was my goal for the series with the 20 episodes. Get to Division 1 and not be relegated from any division. So Division, you know, back to back to back to back to back, all the way from Division 10 to Division 1. Um, 
if we got relegated, it was over. If we got, you know, didn't get to Division 1, it was over. And then we were going to start Season 2, Division 2, or, you know, back up the divisions. We didn't know how it was going to go. So the fact that I'm in Division 3 already, we can't really do like a rags to riches Division 10 to Division 3, um, you know, story of starting a brand new squad. But that's where I'm asking you guys, what would you like to see in terms of, you know, squad? Do you want me to do a completely new squad or do you want me to just continue on with the madness that we've been doing for the last couple of days? Because as I said, lads, we do have a lot of GP. I mean, we can practically buy any player that we want. We have so many good players in the club at the moment, and even players that we haven't tested out. Like, we could buy Mbappe, we could buy Cristiano Ronaldo, we could buy, um, you know, test out Benzema, Haaland. Uh, Son is a guy that I really want to want to buy as well, because he's absolutely amazing in the game. Probably the best player in the game, stat-wise. We'll have a look at him in a while. Um... But yeah, let me let me know. I'm going to leave it there because obviously, you know, there's no point going on and on and on about it. I will be obviously, um, oh son, you're destined. You're destined to come to Big Lads FC. But uh, yeah, let me know, guys. And for now, obviously, we are going to just go into the events and uh, we're going to play a couple of the events with this current team that we have. Um, so first up, yeah, first up, we're going to do this because I want to have a catch up with you all, and as I said, give you my thoughts. All right, on so stuff. we're straight into a match against Porto FC. This guy is playing. He's got Pedri. I can see there. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to change. Well, I must change jerseys actually as well. That's another thing I could do for season two. I'm going to change jerseys and change the team that I'm based on. Um, but we'll go in and have we'll have a look at his team first and analyze his team. Right. So he's playing a four three three, Aspilicueta, Rudiger. Up in Meccano, Mendy. So he's got the three Chelsea boys in goal or in uh, in the back line and in goals. He's got Payol, he's got Nakata, Nadidi, Vishka. I've heard a lot about him. He's got Ronaldo front as well. And he's playing with Ripa. Obviously, we are playing um a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-2-1-3. So we've got a little bit more attack based. Uh, but let's see who's up and let's see who's down because we could be in a bit of bother here. Maldini Davies. Yeah, there's nobody really up. Diaz is up, so I'll probably play Diaz on the right. Salah to come on. Uh, let's see, Munain. Yeah, we'll play Munain, lads. We'll play Munain on the left. Um, I also think I have no sound from the PS5 coming in as well, so I have to configure that. I'm just after noticing that, lads. So I am obviously recording live, so apologies um, if you guys wanted the sound in that. But yeah, you're just going to have to listen to my voice. But I'll cut out any bits where I'm not really talking because... Yeah, it'll probably sound like desperate, but uh, yeah, there's no background noise for the match noise, so let's see what happens. But I've heard like it's hard, obviously, when you're reading Twitter the whole time to get to get a feel. Oh, Vieira, big dirty touch of that to get a feel of the game because obviously, you know, we all play differently. I might play a little bit slower paced than other people, um, and kind of the dribbling. I thought the dribbling was really, really good when I played it. That's nice. Diaz, Munain, you're on. Ah, oh, it's a good tackle. Oh, it's a free. I thought it was a clean tackle. I noticed in in when I did my initial first uh, V1.1 impressions, lads, I thought that the, the, the tackling like that was very, very dodgy. And he wants to see the replay of this, so I'll let him. Let me see. I mean, he won the ball clean there. He won the ball clean in, in terms of my my opinion. Let's see if I can have a pop with Ronaldinho, though. Ronaldinho should spot this in. Yeah, he does. And that's an instant goal for Ronaldinho. We're back, baby. But yeah, I mean, that was a cheap one, in fairness. I don't think that that was really a free kick, but you get them against you and you get them for you. So, I mean, I wasn't going to miss on purpose. Like, I'm not that nice. But yeah, kickoff glitch, kickoff, whatever you want to call it. People have been saying, you know, that that's mixed. Some people are saying it's fixed. Some people are saying it's not. Some people are saying that the players are more responsive. Some people are saying the players are less responsive. I mean, it's, it's very hard. So I'm going to give you... What's this guy doing? I'm going to give you my honest opinions on it. I mean, so far I haven't been able to tell, but let's see if this guy... Oh, he's gone. Don't tell me he quit already. I mean, it's only it's only five minutes gone in the game and he quits because he gets a bad call against him. Maybe he's on the back of a bad run. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he did win the tackle clean, but, like, you get them and you don't get them sometimes. You just have to get on with it. But it's up to him whether he quits or not, man. I don't know what Donnarumma is doing here at the moment, but... Um, yeah, he's he he looks to be gone anyway. So we'll take that, lads. We'll take one of the events. I hope it's uh I hope that I get the, the win for that now because it was early in the game. But let's see. 
I'd say he was raging with that free kick. But I mean, I've had that against me like a few times, even in V1.0, but I've heard that it's a bigger issue this time that. But man, then again, the thing is, right? Like, yeah, I mean, there's clean sheet and total win. The thing is though, lads, right? Like at the end of the day, if you're going to be spamming, if you're going to be spamming the defendant and spamming putting your legs in like that, like they have to balance it some way. I know that that's not the way to balance it, but they do have to balance it some way, I think, you know? Now we've got this one as well. So we're going to go into another match, let's straight away and hopefully get a little bit more gameplay to analyze rather than that one. But I'd say we have about 24,000 training programs as well. So we'll go in and have a look at that in a minute. But I'll see you at kickoff, lads. Hopefully it's a longer game. All right, lads, we're back into another game against Verbana CF. We'll stay with the red. We're going to change. As I said, lads, let me know what you guys want to see. We're going to have the whole club's identity change. We're going to have a takeover, maybe, if you want to change. Let's see who's up today. Uh, oh, Romario's down, and I've no striker. Oh, look at Reese James, man. He was out in the lash last night. Like, it's just not good enough. I'm going to have to start Diaz up there. Ronaldinho. And I'll push Ronaldinho back. Salah. Neymar's up. Munoin. Graven Birch. Maradona, Pedri. That sucks, man. All right, we'll put him over there. Diaz. Salah can play, actually, up front. He'd probably be better up front, I'd say. Yeah. We'll leave it at that and see. Salah's getting his chance, lads. But, yeah, once I'm down Romario, it's not looking good. <laughs> uh, sorry, I forgot to check that guy's team as well. I'll pause it there in a second. Check it, because I know a lot of you guys in the comments to be like, oh, shows the opponent's team. So no problemo, I will show you that. I'll pause it straight away now, two seconds. I always forget to check the opponent's team. Everyone has pretty similar teams now anyway, to be fair, especially with the legends and, and all that sort of uh, stuff. So, But let's see, hopefully we can get a bigger sample size. All right, so this guy's team is Romario, Mbappe, Nabry, Pedri, Ruiz, 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 Fabian Ruiz, Locatelli, Paiol, Piol. Uh, Carlos, Trent, and Conde. So he's got a 100-team play style as well. We've got 99. So this should be a good game, lads. This should be a good game. We'll see. Hopefully it's longer than the last one. Jesus. But I don't blame anyone that gets frustrated because especially I know as well, you know, if I'm on lunch as I am now playing, like, I don't like quitting games, but oh, this feels nice and responsive. That's lovely, Diaz. Vieira. Salah, all eyes on him today now. He's big boots to fill. Vieira. Ramar Ronaldinho. Oh, that would have been some goal, lads. Nice. Oh, Diaz. Vieira! Oh, what a save. I mean, how did he save that? Oh, man. And I couldn't do anything else, only that. I was trying, I was thinking a stunning shot, but Vieira, we're going to knock it on. Pez 2021 trick. Oh, man. Maldini's up. It's good defending. Get back, Van Dyke. Oh, that's a nice auto cancel. Ah, oh, it's a super tackle. No way! Oh, man. What is that? That was clean. He's not even letting me look at it. Oh, this should be a banger with Carlos. Come on, Carlos. Show me what you're made of now. Show me what you're made of. Man or mouse? Nah, he doesn't have it, lads. He doesn't have it. If we get one of those, it's in the back of the net with Ronaldinho, surely. It's a good chance, though. But uh, look, I mean, we saw that in the last game as well. I I probably like, I probably didn't need to tackle the way I tackled there, but like you do you do sometimes have to have to make the Hold on, Donna. You do have to make the decision of balancing the defending, do you know? Ronaldinho. Ah, it's a bad ball from Neymar. Oh, I nearly caught him. I did catch him and he panics. All right, this guy's going to panic at the back. I just need to put him under a little bit of pressure. Ronaldinho. Dikai runs. Ah. Ah, oh, cheeky little finish. Musa made the save of the, save of the day, and then he parries that one back in. That was shocking defending, and shocking goalkeeping from him, I should say. 
Yeah, I mean, like, so far to me, it feels pretty much the same. It feels pretty much the same as V1.0. Um, I don't know. I mean, the passing, the movement, everything seems pretty much the same to me. But yeah, let's see the kickoff now. Let's see if this guy will do it. I'll, I'll hold back and see. Okay, he's not doing it yet. Man, I'd love Carlos, by. Oh, I'd love Carlos. Great ball. Should be bodies there. Lovely. He tried the tricky. Hello, Maldini. Ah, brilliant from Piotr. Was that Piotr? Lovely. Hello, Maldini just showed him. Maldini just snarled at him. He just snarled at him. He didn't want to know about it. Yeah, seems a little, uh, I don't know, the ball out of their feet a little bit longer. It's taking a little bit more time. Maybe it's just like, lads, look, I haven't played in a while either. So that's probably, that's probably a way of it as well. Yeah, reset. Can't pause it. Get up now, Piol. Hold on, Piol. Oh, bad pass. Oh, what a goal. Welcome back, baby. What a goal that was. Beautiful goal. Salah again. He's not been my cup of tea today, lads, but that was... What a goal between my top three guys. Yeah, it's just... That's the one thing I've noticed is getting the ball out of the player's feet. Not, not like... It's not like desperately bad, but it is bad. Oh my god. That'll do. Ah, oh, Paddy V, you should have come. Alon. Alon Van Dyke. Yeah, it's just getting the ball out of the field a little bit. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Foot race. Oh, that was some pass, lads, but I had already made up my mind to lob it. Lovely. Ah, oh, lads. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, oh, money! Right at the final hurdle. Oh, Maradona! Ah, oh, man, see, yeah, that is definitely... Now, look, I'm not going to complain too much about it, but that's definitely, definitely worse than V1.0. I'm finding that hard, hard to get used to. Money in the fresh legs, though. And the pass, oof. yeah, the, the, the input delay for the, for, the sh for, the, for the players getting rid of it between their feet is definitely, definitely there. Definitely there was a couple of instances there, especially that last one with Maradona, where the bar didn't even come up and I'm pressing to shoot. And the bar doesn't even come up. Like that's, yeah, that, they need to look at that, man. You know, they need to look at that. Because if you're playing the game regularly and you get used to a certain way of playing, and you get used to the mechanics, you can't make them worse, like, you know what I mean? Let me see what objectives, I do like these objectives though, lads, I know that they're pretty plain and simple, but I do like them, they're an added bonus, like, so we've got two of them there, training and program. Yeah, let me know what you guys think, I mean, I would definitely say that the one thing that stood out to me has been the, definitely the input delay when you're shooting or passing, getting the ball out from underneath your feet. And it doesn't even feel like weighty realistic. It, fe it feels like, like lag. It feels like input lag or input delay. And that I don't think was there as much on V1.0. But everything else felt pretty much the same to me. As I said, I only played one match really. Um, and we've gone through different bits and pieces. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Because obviously I do have to fix a couple of my settings and stuff. So we're going to end it there. I'm going to throw this one up and please do get in touch and let me know what you guys want to see from season two um, content, especially with the divisions and stuff. Do you want me to do a past and present new squad builder and I can do a video on the squad builder that I'm doing? Do you want me to do like a youth squad builder, a starter squad builder? Whatever you guys want me to do, I will do for season two, Eminem style, because obviously for season one, I just wanted to go try hard mode, get to division one. Um, as Sep would say, you know, take a picture and frame it, go frame it. 
Um, I did get to Division One, obviously, um, which was a big, a big challenge for me. Um, but yeah, we are going to have to start grinding again and actually playing the game because I haven't been playing much of it. But yeah, we'll be back. Let me know in the comments below, lads, what you think of V1.0 or the change from V1.0 to 1.1 now. Um, and also let me know what you want to see from me content wise. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe and share and get in touch below. Peace.